Dear third semester mechanical engineering students, I welcome you all again into my another video. Hope you are all doing well. So in this video we will be discussing the passing package for your subject manufacturing process. This is your second subject of third semester. Already I have uploaded the passing package for the mom subject, right? So subject code is BME302 and let me tell you this is not only the passing subject. You can score easily more than 80 marks in this particular subject by referring these important questions whatever i will just discuss over here so first of all in module first we have defined casting and list the steps involved in making a sand casting and briefly discuss the importance of binders and additives in sand molding and list and explain in detail various allowances uh, given to the pattern and reasons to provide the allowances difference between gravity and pressure die casting with a neat sketch explain the working of the molding machines like jolt type or squeeze type most of the times we use asking jolt type machine and with a neat sketch explain continuous casting process and mention its merits and demerits explain with a neat sketch co2 molding process and investment molding process last question from the model first we are having the manufacturing process explain the classification of manufacturing process right so second model we are having here list and explain in brief the four types of furnaces classification explain with a neat sketch of working of coreless induction furnace gas fired pit furnace and resistance furnace and with a neat sketch explain the different zones present in cupola furnace and give the difference between direct arc electric furnace and indirect arc electric furnace next we have uh, with a neat sketch explain centrifuge casting state the advantage and disadvantage of centrifugal casting and explain with neat sketches casting defects with neat sketch explain different types of casting processes so this is all about your model second coming to the model third we are having give the detailed relationship between stress strain enumerate the concept of annealing with sketch Describe compound and progressive dye processes and next one we have differentiate between soldering and brazing with respect to joint strength and give its applications. Give the detailed classification of metal forming processes with the help of a neat sketch explain V bending and edge bending operation. Compare hot working with cold working process and next one we have illustrate the following metal forming processes with neat sketches like bending, piercing and blanking. Explain different types of forging defects and explain different types of rolling mills. So this is all about your model third. And now coming to the model four, we are having explain with neat sketches types of lamps produced in oxyacetylene welding. Explain with a neat sketch oxyacetylene gas welding process. And super important one we are having here. Third question: explain with a neat sketch dig and mig welding and mention their advantages, disadvantages, and applications. Explain with a neat sketch manual metal arc welding and also mention its advantages, disadvantages, and applications. Explain with neat sketch submerged arc welding process and its applications. And uh, last two questions here explain with neat sketch laser welding and mention its advantages and disadvantages. And with operating principle, explain fusion welding process, write down its advantages and disadvantages. So, this is all about module fourth. So, coming to the last fifth module over here, we are having explain the following A residual stress in welding, distortion in welding, shrinkage in welding, list and explain welding defects and remedies, explain the concept of weldability and the thermal effects. And again here uh, with the neat sketch explain the friction stir discuss the advantage and disadvantages and describe the following soldering brazing next one we have explain with the neat sketch resistance welding processes these are all super important questions from your subject manufacturing process and your main focus should be on diagrammatic part try to draw the neat sketches in your answer booklet so that you can get half marks and half marks for your theoretical portion okay so main focus is to maintain neatness in the diagrams so that you will easily tackle the subject and also score good in this uh, manufacturing process subject so i wish you all the best for your examinations dear make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates thank you